Brenda McFarland. Our <laughs> Brenda started most of the year. We, we did Brenda a, a, I don't know about a disservice. We, we, we felt like that he needed to kind of be the point guard. We didn't know Mitch was ready, and we didn't really, you know, coming in the year, didn't know exactly what we're going to do. And, you know, even last summer, I, I, I wanted Brendan in a certain spot, talked to him about it, and then once it got closer, I said, man, I don't know. I don't think we're going to be able to do that. And Brendan played the point for about, well, about six, eight games, and and we were pretty successful. I mean, we, we rolled out to, you know, seven, eight, one, so we did all right, but we didn't really like the setup. So we had to make some adjustments we thought on the fly. And, uh, you know, I, I think that kind of hurt his progress a little bit because then he had to get comfortable in, in another role. And I think as the year wore on, he got more comfortable. He, had, he scored late quite a bit. Although, again, I, I don't really feel like the key to his game is, is to score. I mean, certainly we don't, we're not adverse to scoring. We, we want to score, but we don't, I don't think he has to score to play well. Um, I'm not a, I've never been a believer that people players have scored to, to play well. Um, Brendan can play well without scoring. Uh, he did score in some games late, and that's, again, that's good that we have that ability to score, but, but it doesn't take, you know, uh, at the end of the game, I don't, I don't look to see if somebody scored 15 points uh, they played well. They made shots. Sometimes that's a byproduct of playing well, but not all the time. And in Brendan's case, he played well a number of other times where he didn't necessarily score. But again, late in the game, late in the year, I think he probably came in with three or four games. You know, four or 